So please welcome this week's special guest, Amanda. <laughs> So, oh, Mike, what is Amanda to you? Uh, this is Amanda. I once hospitalised her with my elaborate dance moves. <laughs> Philippa, how do you know Amanda? This is Amanda, and she caught me smuggling my cat into her zoo. <laughs> and finally, David, what is your relationship with Amanda? Uh, this is Amanda. When I kicked her child's football back, she watched in horror as it sailed through the air and knocked her mother out of her camping chair. <laughs> Lee's team. Mike. Mm. How old were you? A around 20, may maybe 19. OK. And where were you? Uh, where was I? I suppose... Um, well, don't suppose. I was... Tell me where you were. I was... <laughs> I was in quite an experimental phase of my dance journey, is where I was. <laughs> <laughs> I meant geographically, but fine. Tell us more about the uh, dance journey. I was kind of... I've got... Well, no formal training in dance, um, but at that time, uh, it, was quite, it was quite muscular, vigorous, um, but it's sort of heavy storytelling element to it as well. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda was a, a friend... Um, well, and is to this day, but she, she was one of the few people who, who would be, you know, was, was happy to take me on, who would... Um, take you on? Take me on dance-wise, take me on at the discotheque. And, so, basically, um, you, it, was it in a disco? It was a normal, everyday discotheque. Right. Uh, and, 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 was, you, and you were in there... Yeah. ..with your friend? With, with a bunch of friends. And how did you know Amanda? How did I know Amanda? I don't know, I wasn't there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> students... <laughs> Students. OK. And you said you told a story in your dance. Telling a story, yeah. What was trying... the story this particular night? Uh, Ragnarok. <laughs> I was trying to retell um, the, sort of the Nordic apocalypse. <laughs> and um, the finishing move was... Uh, the, the problem lay with it. I was trying out a sort of power pirouette. Can you um, show us the power pirouette? I don't, well, it's been 20 years. I could try. OK. Oh, but the, it's like, it would, it, the, the point of the power pirouette is very much the fulcrum is the heel rather than the... The right. ..the toe. Yeah. So you're trying to do the full 360 with a sort of kind of cowboy swish at the end. <laughs> yeah. At, at which point you kind of... You sort of... You, they're reeling and you sort of saunter <laughs> away. Yeah. And I, I then did a sort of, a, a sort of tight... <laughs> A tight funk twist, <laughs> expecting to see Amanda, but Amanda was gone, and I just assumed, I assumed she was tired, she was exhausted, but it turned out that my the fulcrum, my heel, mm -hmm. uh, I'd done it on her on her, her right big toe, Long uh, Pete. It the <laughs> I don't know what she called her toes, but the the, the talk was such. Uh, that it ripped her toenail clean out. <gasps> wow. And that was just from you talking? <sighs> that was... Didn't, I but didn't you find didn't out... feel that with the... Usually I when you find out stand on something, hours, you know so... you've stood on something. I didn't know, of course. I mean, if I'd known, I'd have... I'm not a monster. I have to say, that's some of the finest dancing we've ever seen Thank on this Thank you. Show. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, that very good. That's right up there with some of my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you like to quiz next? OK. Uh, Philippa, can you remind me again? This is Amanda. Yeah. And she caught me smuggling my cat into her zoo. <laughs> Why did you want to smuggle your cat into a zoo? Because when David Attenborough comes on, the cat dashes to watch the telly and really just loves the animals. And his favourite things are lions. And I just thought it'd be really great if but I showed him lion. some real lions. Yeah. Is this Kevin, the cat that I've seen on your TV shows? Yes. Oh. I've got this sort of <laughs> backpack thing that the, the cat's got a sort of porthole with a sort of perspex hole so oh, he can you, sit you in it. You regularly take the cat out for days out? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's, it, have you made this thing or can you buy a cat carrier? You can buy them. OK. So where else have you taken the cat? Oh, we go on long walks. Well, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Which zoo was it? London Zoo. So what does Amanda do at London Zoo? She goes around wearing a lanyard bossing people about. Oh! <laughs> and where did she apprehend you? Well, we were doing quite well, cos I, I, I 
kind of knew I wasn't supposed to bring an animal into the zoo. I kind did. of? Yeah, <laughs> but I didn't want to face up to that. Right. Oh. So I put a sort of cardigan thing over his portholes, so it just looked like I was wearing a backpack. <laughs> and then to show him the lions and things, I just sort of turned my back there like you that. You didn't. I did. So now everyone's <laughs> thinking, why is this woman not looking at the lions? <laughs> <laughs> but it was the tiger enclosure where I came a crocker, because to see the tigers, you have to go up on a sort of walkway and so I was up on the walkway, and when I turned my back and removed the cardigan so Kevin could have a look, Amanda spotted my strange behaviour, and then she and a, a keeper kind of escorted me out of the zoo. Why didn't you wear the backpack at the front to make yourself look less suspicious and sort of, like, just cover it over and then... Mm. Oh, it's like you flash it to the tiger. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you talk us through the conversation with Amanda and the keeper? She said... What are you doing? And I said, I'm showing Kevin the tigers. And she said, you're not allowed to bring animals in here. <laughs> Did you not say, but you started it? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had! <laughs> All right. What about David's plausible tale? Refresh our memories. This is Amanda. When I kicked her child's football back, she stood in horror as it sailed through the air and knocked her mother out of her camping chair. So, where were you? On the beach. Whereabouts? In Cornwall. So you're on a beach call with your family? Yes. Ball comes trickling towards you. The ball came very near me and then sort of stopped. Yeah. And then I went with the instinct to kick it back. How far away was the child? I'd say probably maybe about where Alan is. So Alan's the child? Yeah. Amanda is sort of the distance you are, Lee, and then Leisha is the mother sitting in, in a chair. And you in a managed chair. to kick a football that far? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant, David. Brilliantly convincing. Uh-huh. How many years ago? It was... This was last year. <laughs> right. You, you thought to keep in touch just yeah. so... She'd be quite useful to come on the programme and, you and talk yeah. about it. You, you've, you've no idea. I mean, any incident at all, <laughs> notes are made, numbers are taken. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting so desperate, yeah. he probably aimed for the mother thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at least I'll have something for series 29. <laughs> and what did you say? I'm assuming you shouted, sorry, I was aiming for your child. <laughs> no, I, I, I went over... Yeah? Uh, to, ..thinking, oh, I'll help the mother up, but then, actually, obviously, if this was last year, so it's sort of the time of Covid. Yeah, I, I, not, so a time, I, not a good time for going on holidays, but we'll let it go. So I... <laughs> it, people were going to Cornwall last summer, you know. OK. I mean, that part's true. I knew the... <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, uh, So I went over and sort of got to within a couple of yards and then sort of mimed helping her up while <laughs> Amanda helped her up. Yeah. <laughs> Even though you said sorry, when you walked away with your daughter and wife, did you turn to your wife and go, not a bad kick, that, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> did you feel a bit proud of yourself? No, okay. I didn't feel proud of it, cos I... Yeah. Well, yeah, you, it... you texted me. <laughs> <laughs> right, we need an answer. Is Amanda Mike's damaged dancer Philippa's feline finder or David's outraged onlooker? I feel like the sand scenario, it's not adding up. What about Mike? I feel like that isn't true, neither. I, well, I think Philippa's is very plausible. Mm. Um, You'd have I, to be a bit... Oh, well, you well, but she is. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, what are you going to say? So, you think it's... I think it might be at the zoo. I, I think it might be the zoo. OK, then, well, we'll go with my team and say it's Philippa. You're saying that it's Philippa taking her cat, Kevin, to the zoo. Right. Amanda, would you please reveal your true identity? I'm Amanda, and Mike's dance moves put me in hospital. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you very much, Amanda.